All right, so I updated my Eon to OpenPilot 0.5.2. The installation process is still the same like the video I posted. Only difference is the calibration part. So what used to take, I don't know, in some cases, 20 minutes to calibrate at 45 miles per hour or more, the new one just is 15 miles per hour or more and it calibrated in about three minutes. So it was really quick. I'm not sure why that is. It probably has something to do with it being... It loaded my information from before. I'm just not sure. But the differences I'm seeing is there's there's less like lateral wobble with the steering wheel. But I'm also getting a little bit of, um how do you say, ghost braking. Where if a car's in a lane to the right of me and there's nobody in front of me, it seems to it'll slow down and then speed back up and then slow down. Almost like it's more hesitant. Maybe it's a safety issue they implemented for better merging and things like that for when a car merges over for the stop or or something i don't know um also i feel like it, it, there's a larger gap so if somebody is in front of me and it keeps that uses that car as the guide car there's more of a gap in the process like i, I feel like i used to be maybe a car link and a half to two car links back now it's three car links or four car links back um I have, I'm going to take my GoPro and record the drive and try to do a comparison so you guys can see. But there's definitely a difference. Um, when it comes to turns and things like that, I feel like it's better. But I'm not a big fan of, of the ghost braking. I, I get it's, it's probably like a safety feature to include it. Or it could just be a fluke. I don't know. But um, I'm not a fan of that part with the update. Um, that's all. I just want to give a quick update for me um, doing the upgrade to 0.5.2 if you're thinking of doing it. It came out about 10 days ago. Um, I'm a little late to it. But um, yeah, if you before you update, just you might have the problem if you have a Prius Prime with the ghost braking.